Welcome back. We're getting ready for the third Ladies game. Ladies and gentlemen, we also today. have some big final action tomorrow, right here in the secondary school football league intercall competition. From 3:30, the girls up. It will be Pleasantville versus versus Bishop Port of Spain. And coming up in the boys' final at five will be San Juan Secondary versus Shiva Boys. So come out tomorrow, the big secondary schools intercall final, girls and boys, right here at the home of football, the Atto Bolden Stadium. So we've got the Eastern Counties. Yes, the Eastern Counties, they are in orange up against the East Zone team. They are in red and white. The East Zone team looking to get their ball moving around. As they put the ball forward, it falls to the enterprising Ross. Unable to clear the ball, their lines here at the Eastern Counties. Finally, they get the ball clear. But winning out is uh, Sophia Mitchell. So it's an offside. It's going to be a free kick to the Eastern Counties team. So if you're just joining us, you're watching the National Elite Youth Program, the Women's Edition. Yes, the ladies, they get their chance to be on display, the under-14 girls. Of course, this competition, the six zones or the six associations in Trinidad and Tobago represented here. On the pitch, we've got the Eastern Counties up against the Eastern Association. The Battle of the East. They say the wise men came from the East. Which East? Will reign supreme here today. Of course, the weather has held up. Ball just banged up field. And just passing that ball wider there is the captain, Ariel Williams. Ball going out of play. The Eastern Counties team. With a good throw in. Alia Trim, the skipper, not able to control Cleany. Hmm. That throw looked very suspect. Good skill here by Serret. But having straight in an offside position was Sophia Mitchell. So both teams yet to really settle in this one. Of course, the Eastern Counties coached by Mr. Matthew Williams. And the Eastern FA coached by the very experienced Joel Warwick. You can see his daughters on the bench. That's Chanel Warwick. Sophia Mitchell with a shot. Oh, it got under the keeper and just wide. It's going to be a corner for the Eastern FA. So Sophia Mitchell there getting in behind the defenders. It's going to be a corner across the take it. Jack. Ball inside, oh! Directed on by Craig, Luan Craig. Good take there by Trim. Looking for movement. Gets. Kante going. The long ball across, trying to get Hernandez. So this game is looking. A very interesting one. The early action showing signs of being a very telling encounter. Trim, she's been very dominant in the midfield. A good player. But she loses out. And then they just settle things down. Craig. Uh, just running out of room there was Luan Craig. So it's going to be Kadeen Hernandez with the throw in. 
Banged up field. It's going to be a foot race. Sophia Mitchell. She's already shown signs of being quite skillful. Holding off the challenge. No call by the referee. The keeper comes. Ah! And that doesn't look good. The keeper holding on. That's Orozco. Tishona Orozco. Her, holding her back. Orozco gets up. Raises her hands. <laughs> flashes a smile. And a thumbs up. To say all is well with her. Sophia Mitchell. The ball falls to Rusko and, and Craig, Luan Craig, puts it away. Goal for East, scored by number 17, Luan Craig. So Craig puts the Eastern Score FA up, East one, one goal Eastern to nil. nil. It was totally mayhem at the back for the Eastern Counties. The skipper Trim, she's taking the kick off, and you can see by her body language she's not impressed. Trim will have to lift her game. You can see that she's going to be very important to her team. Going for the spectacular, there was Alika Mark, Akila Mark, sorry. Ball forward. Williams coming across. Puts it into nearest touch. Going to be a throw. Ali. Mangal loses out. Oh, cleared up field. First to hit, Shania Jordan settles herself, but then she gives it away. Ball dropped nicely here for Russ. Still Russ. Russ goes past Ali. Looking for support. Finds the goal scorer, Craig. Craig teeing things up here. And a shot, a wicked deflection, but it goes out for a corner there. Prince with the opportunity to shoot. She took her time. In fact, it wasn't Prince, it was Sarret. Maya Sarret. So it's going to be a corner for the Eastern, Con the Eastern FA. They lead this one goal to nil. So Sarret The Eastern County's bench has been cleared. The players sent to warm up. As they try to fight. Oh. It was a good shot there by uh, That's the goal scorer Craig. So Craig able to shoot with both feet. Cutting inside there and using the left boot on this occasion. Forcing a save from the, the keeper, Orozco. So Surrett, all the way across. And it runs out of play. It's going to be Eastern County's ball. Ali. Still Ali. It falls to Mitchell. 
Mitchell can score. Mitchell with a shot. Oh, what a goal. A wicked finish by Sophia Mitchell. Sophia goal Mitchell for East. with a, by a wicked finish. Sophia Mitchell. The score is East 2. She was Eastern threatening all morning. And finally, she delivered a beautiful one-time shot. Blasting it past Orozco to double the score for her, her team. So it seems like the wise men did not come from the eastern counties, but they came from the eastern FA as they lead two goals to nil. <laughs> so the ball just going out of play. Huh, a bit of walk in that throw. No call by the referee. And he's only five yards away, so I probably saw wrong. But it's going to be a throw. Surrett. Now it's going to be Ali to take the throw in. Let the throw in. <laughs> Ross. But it's banged up field. And it falls into the handle keeper. She has the opportunity to get Trim going here. Uh, just over the head of Trim. Trim is very dangerous. Trim can respond. Will she respond here? She goes past. The referee calling for the infringement. A very intelligent foul there by Shania Jordan. Because Trim can score. She was racing into the area. Shania Jordan came across. And I think in another forum, she might have just found herself in the wrong end of the referee's book. Aliyah Trim standing over this one. A bit tricky to get it over the wall and back down. Or will she go through the wall? She can kick. Let's look at what she's going to do. She goes short. Looking for the return pass to try to get a shot off. Hits the referee instead. So Trim trying to be cheeky. And I think she will get a lesson here. Aliyah Trim. On some days, things will not go your way. But you will have to lift your team, especially if you wear the captain armband. She'll get a leadership lesson here to today. Let's see if she can carry her team. She loses control. Goes out. It's going to be a throw to the eastern counties. So the weather continues to be overcast. Not rainy, but overcast. And I think that's good for the players on the pitch. They'll be enjoying the conditions. Of course, the pitch has been decreased in size for the ladies. And it's only eight players, seven players and a keeper. Trim. But all the way back here was Ross. Still Ross. She bangs the ball forward, but having straight in an offside position was Sophia Mitchell. Mitchell, very speedy. A robust player. Able to finish. I think what she will have to work on is a tactical awareness. But it's all a work in progress. As we know, these young ladies who are selected for the elite program will be brought together and given elite training for just about two to three years in the initial phase. Mongol. And trying to get a return pass. But she loses out. Ross. Treads the needle. Orozco picks it up. Oh, a very poor kick. She's lucky that it finds an Eastern County player. And here she has the opportunity to find a skipper. Skipper versus skipper here. 
Hernandez losing out though. Craig, the goal scorer. Trim. Hernandez. Good turn by Hernandez. Hernandez is in the area. Ah, oh, good recovery tackle there by Ariel Williams, the skipper. She gives up the corner. But a good last just tackle. The Eastern County skipper though, she strides across. She's going to be taking this corner with the right boot. It's going to be curling in water. Oh, this is the left boot. She's taking it with the left boot. Good ball across. It falls. Hernandez. Ah, oh, just wide. So, a good set play there by the Eastern Counties team. Noriega. Jolene Noriega. Taking the field for East is number three, Tishon Dennis. Bangs the ball upfield. Oh, it's true. But then it goes out for a corner. So it's going to be a corner here for this East Stern FA team. The Eastern FA leading two goals to nil. They got their goals of the boot of Craig in the first instance. And then a bullet, as we call it, of the boot of Sophia Mitchell. Ah! And the ball goes all the way across, a touch. So it's going to be a, another corner for the Eastern FA. So the Eastern counties looking a bit shaky at the back. Big ball across. It has gone out, so it's going to be a goal kick for the Eastern Counties team. So as we approach a halftime whistle in this one, it's the Eastern FA in red and white. They lead two goals to nil versus the Eastern Counties. Remember, you're watching the National League Youth Program. Craig skips past one challenge into the area. Teeing things up. And just dragging it wide there was uh, Tishone Dennis. So a nice cooling breeze blowing from east to west, northeast really. And as we have entered the month of December. Already quickly on to the 3rd of December. Oh, and it's into the back of the net. Craig again gets the goal. goal for East, scored by number 17, Luan, Luan Craig. Craig. The so score is East 3, Eastern Counties 0. Luan Craig, not the biggest of players, but she's got a very intelligent left boot. Just slotting it past Orozco in goal 4. The Eastern Counties. Not much time left before the halftime whistle. Hernandez unable to keep it in play. The skipper of uh, the Eastern Counties team, Alia Trim. Her body language, not the most inspirational at this point. Very skillful player, Trim, but she needs to get on the ball, needs to lift her game, needs to lift her team. Well, bang, oh, goes all the way through. I think that shocked everyone in, involved. Noriega. 
just spotting the ball. Mm. Finds Craig. Craig with a bit of a long touch. Mark. Jordan has a very good turn of foot. Jordan. Trim. She's very dangerous. Ball across. The keeper comes and claims. Noriega. Showing full. And that's the halftime whistle. So at the half, the Eastern and gentlemen, at FA Leeds. East. Three Leading goals Eastern to counties nil. By three goals to nil. Versus the Eastern Counties. We go to the break. When we come back, we're going to have the final half in this one. Welcome back to the Ladies Automotor and gentlemen, Stadium. as the second half begins, just a reminder, the score is East 3, Eastern Counties 0. We're getting ready for a second of action in the Eastern Counties up against the Eastern FA. The Eastern FA leading this one comfortably, three goals to nil. Luan Craig, number 17, already got, has gotten a double for a team. Of course, the Eastern FA, they have the touch of They are in red and white up against the Eastern Counties, who are in orange with a touch of blue. And their blue sucks. And that ball just going out of play. So Hernandez with the throw in. Trim. She can be dangerous. She's into the area. Trim with a shot. Oh, just into the side netting. So first signs of a Aliyah Trim here in this second half. Jordan comes off the shins of uh, Hernandez. So it's going to be a, a throw for the Eastern F.A. Shania Jordan going to take this train. Trim. Very skillful. This Aliyah Trim. The early ball across. And the ball just cleared out. A play there. By the Eastern Counties. That's Avrela Batiste there just clearing things out. Janil Thompson Tom finds Craig. Craig already has a brace. Beautiful ball across. Just a bit too far forward. So Craig has shown that she has. That's Luan Craig. Not only. The ability to finish, but she's got vision. A left-footed player, but she can't kick the ball with the right boot. So it has a lot of the basic technique in her arsenal. Ball cleared up field. Jordan just anywhere will do. And it drops the trim. Trim will have to take things into her own hands today if her team is going to have any chance in this one. And here she is up against Williams. Good slip pass to Hernandez. Back to Trim. Trim with a shot into the back of the net. Aliyah Trim. She has answered the call for her team. Goal for Eastern Counties. If her team is going to have any chance, as I've been saying. by the captain, number nine. Aliyah Trim. If her team is going to have any chance, she's going to have to prop up her shoulders, get herself on the ball, and drag her team back into this one. 
Craig. The score is Eastern Counties 1, East 3. A beautiful slip pass here to Mohan. Mohan trying to get the ball back across. It goes out for a goal kick. So it's game on here in this, the second half. The early goal for the Eastern Counties just throwing the cuts among the pigeons. Mohan, though, with an opportunity here to put things to bed. Roscoe claims and then bangs the ball upfield looking to get her skipper. Good take by Trim. Turns away from the pressure but then loses control. Ball banged upfield. Can it, uh, just running out of real estate was Canote. Trim comes across, intercepts the pass. Coach Warwick up from his bench. Just having a bit of a discussion with his able assistant, Shinel Warwick. Of course, they'll have the, their eyes on the clock. Ladies and gentlemen, just a reminder, if you wish to have your family and friends and other loved ones who couldn't be here be a part of the excitement, feel free to head across to WAC 90.1 FM's Facebook page where the games are being streamed live. The wind just picking up here at the Otto Bolden Stadium. One more game carded on for this evening. You can evening. check out the Trinidad and Tobago Football Association Facebook page as well. The games are being streamed live there also. I probably sorry this afternoon. The weather in the east looking very ominous. Hernandez. Hernandez. But she's up against the able Ariel Williams. Williams. And then it goes out for a goal kick. So it's some pressure being applied here by the Eastern Counties team. Trying to get back on level terms. It's a mountain to climb. Three goals down. But they've come out in this second half with the right attitude. And a bit of a tactical change. We've seen the skipper the trim. She's come into the middle of the pack. And this is what is so important. And I think coaches at the loot level, especially the women level, must understand that. You must put your best players in the middle of the pitch. We saw it earlier today, <laughs> where the best, the better players from the South Zone team was in wide areas and was able to get on the ball. And earlier, we saw Trim, this, this lady on the ball here. She was too high up the pitch, was unable to get onto the ball. Taking the field for East. But with her dropping Numbers into a more five, withdrawn area into the midfield, Anya she's Noel able to get on the ball and Maya Serret. And get things doing for her team. Just being able to pull back one. They've got to find two goals and find them fast. Hernandez. Mark. Oh, but she gives it to this talented Craig. Craig can kick with both feet. Ah, oh, good save by the keeper. The ball kept in play. Then it goes out, so it's going to be a throw to the Eastern Counties team. Good throw. Trim turns away. And it's just banged up feel anywhere will do. Williams. Robus. <laughs> yes, that's the, the Williams, you know, strong, challenging, quick. Hernandez. Mo to Mongol. Williams across and just puts it in the touch. Safety first. Take no prisoners type of defender. But the prettiest taking the field for Eastern Counties watch. is number 19. In action, but very effective. Trim just won the ball down the line. She said, put it down the line, I'll do the rest. But she's got Once two for company. Taking the field for Eastern Counties, number 19, Shakala Charles. Jordan.
Jordan. Going for a bit of a run here, Mohan. Good work there. Slips a challenger. The good ball through. But then it's just put into touch here by the recovering Rachel Williams. So Noel with the throw in. Surrett whips it across. Just going out of play. And we can see the reins returning. Looking for a throw. For a person to throw the ball to. Finds a skipper. She loses a foot in Surrett. But it's straight at Roscoe. Roscoe just bangs it upfield. No one in particular. But it drops friendly. Nicely. It it fell there to Mongol. But the Robus Williams was <laughs> on spot. So it's going to be a free kick for the Eastern FA. Maya Surrett comes all the way around to take it. Ball bangs up field. the field for East is number 19, Shania Ross. Ross trying to tread the needle. Losing his foot to, her footing to Noel. Good pass there. And the one, two. But she's up against Williams. Williams with a strong challenge. You can't expect that. Williams. Crying a lot of size. But she's lightning fast over, over the ground. A heavy challenger. Not one you want to get a 50-50 tackle going with. Especially Ball a girl. The East is number seven, Alyssa Mahon. She doesn't pull her punches. Hernandez looking for someone to throw the ball to. Fine Mongol. Ball comes off the chest of Craig. And Hernandez, what uh, Aliyah Trim is telling her, Hernandez is just throw the ball into space. I will get it. Surrett. That's a good defensive work there done by Rachel Williams. Because that ball. Born for Eastern Counties is number 17, Kanaya Boatswain. That threaded ball would have been quite dangerous. Jordan. Should I have Jordan? Just <laughs> mistaking the lines. Ross. Still Ross. Ah, and the ball goes out for a corner. The weather has changed. It's pouring cats and dogs here at the Otto Bolden Stadium. Surrett looking to take this cross. Corner comes in. It's handle and it's away. It's going to be Eastern FA ball. So the early second half fight back from the Eastern Counties team seem to have just diminished. Call for the foul throw. Not a call you get very often in football, these in modern day football. Mongol. Uh, goes out. Must commend the friends, the families, the fr family and friends and fans who have come out to support these young ladies here this Sunday. Really an awesome initiative. 
the National Elite Youth Program. And what is good, it's not only the young men who have the opportunity, Ross just going into an offside position, who have the opportunity to be part of it. These young ladies will be, after selected, they will be in an elite program where they will be exposed to hopefully, or what is planned, the best possible coaching, both not only tactically and technically, but also the psychological part, the mental part. Trim, she's got two for company. So Aliyah Trim looking to take things into her own hands here. She's saying, I'm the captain, put it on me. Strong challenge. She's sending the message here. Craig has been marking up very closely. And here she's saying, and there, you're seeing the signaling of Ladies the hands. Ladies and gentlemen, entering the game for Eastern Counties is number 10, Doris Sylvan. So today, just match day number two. We're going to have a one extra game on. It's Tobago up against the Eastern Counties. Ball slipped through. Good to take there by Surrett. She's looking for movement, looking for support. The conditions just getting a bit slippery. You're seeing a lot of slipping and sliding. The weather, the rain just being blown across the pitch. It's going to get more difficult for the ladies. If you look at the pitch, you could also see where the referee assistant, the assistant referee has been running on both sides of the field. Just leaving an impression. Remember tomorrow, the big finals are on. You got the boys and the girls final. Craig, great save. Oh, but then it was spilled and Ross was Goal on spot. for East. So Ross will get her name on the scorecard. Shania that Ross. goal was scored by number 19, Shania Ross. Craig had the opportunity. She opened her, her body. The score is East 4. It was a Eastern good Counties save one. by the keeper, Roscoe. But the follow up opportunity just fell to the foot of Entering Ross, who was looking. East is number 22. Alyssa Knox, also entering the game for Eastern Counties, is number 23, Kyra Meloni. The Eastern Counties team, though, not pushing up as far as they should. You're seeing the defensive line leading, leaving a lot of space. That's creating the opportunity. Here. And again, here's Craig. Very skillful, this Craig. She loses out. And the win has definitely picked up. Trim trying to make things happen. Interesting. What will be interesting is to decide who would be the player of the game, the MVP of the game. Immediately, Miss Luan Craig. Miss Luan Craig has put up her, her hand to be counted for but was she the most influential player on her team she definitely has two goals to the good a shot from noel easily handled by roscoe trim is asking for that ball ah oh, just out of her reach MVP discussions always very interesting, especially in sport. Every year, it entering the game for Eastern Counties, number six, Jalissa Briggs. It invokes really a large response. You just have to watch the, M the NBA to know.
there's hardly ever a unanimous MVP vote. I think the last one was Steph Curry of the Warriors. He was the unanimous MVP. Even in the days of Michael Jordan, when he got the MVP, there was always some discussion. So East ringing out the changes. They would think... Entering the game for East is number two, Missy Lambert. They would think that they have this one sewn up as they are leading four goals to one. The Eastern Counties team would think that they have a chance, especially this lady on the ball. Aaliyah Trim. She needs to trust her, her teammates a bit more though. And the referee calling again for the foul throw. And that's what happens with the referees. They would call one, they will make one call and force into making many calls. Now, a foul throw, it's part of the rules, but it's a it's a call that is hardly made. So for young ladies under the age of 14 to be locked in or hindered by the constant calling of foul throws, it just seems to take something out of the game. That's my basic opinion. But as they say, your opinion is like a nose. Everyone has one. <laughs> so that's just my opinion on the refereeing here today. And that's the final whistle. So at the final whistle in this one, and at the East final whistle, FA. it is East with four goals, Eastern Counties with one. East winning this matchup four goals to one. The Eastern FA winning four goals to one Ladies in this one. Ladies and gentlemen, so please put your hands together for the player of the match from East. Number 17, Luan Craig. So Luan Craig, she gets the MVP award for this match. We go into the break when we come back as the ladies enjoy themselves on the field. We like to tell them to come off because we have uh, intercall finals to play tomorrow. <laughs> but that's what it's about. <laughs> the celebration, the emotions.